I'm Stefan Bauman. I would like to invite you on a special journey. A journey of exploration. To discover the splendor. To feel the excitement. And to experience the wonders of painting outdoors. In one of America's most stunning locations, I invite you to come to the Grandview Ranch and see for yourself what a weekend can do to transform your art. Everything you need to know is on our website, www.stephanbauman.com. A lot of you have been asking about my plein air experience at the plein air convention in Santa Fe. They call it Pace 18. It was amazing. Um, I've been going now for six years to the convention. This year, it was over the top. It was really incredible. I know I say that like every year. And I always wonder, how in the world can Eric make that thing even better? And somehow this time, I think it, part of it was because it was in Santa Fe, which is an amazing place. But part of it was the, the energy. And you know, I think a lot of times what people are fearful of, something getting too big that you lose it. And this year I think they had 1,200 participants. Now, I have a video of it and it's, it's, just, it's just right before the event starts and everybody's sitting in their seat. And I just scan the, the audience. Every one of those people there are artists, 1,200 artists. We're not talking about their spouses and their friends. I mean, you've had to pay the ticket to get into this auditorium. It's just hard to conceive. I mean, when I first started plein air painting, nobody even knew what that was. And when I would go, I'd paint outdoors to imagine that there are 12 hundred artists. And I think what Eric has done with this convention is like there's all these people out there painting and they're all doing their all craziness and all this stuff out there and all of a sudden everything stops and it all they all kind of come together into this space. I really got that this year. It was just whoa the energy of all those people is overwhelming. It's overwhelming. The, the camaraderie that everybody has. Now a lot of people have been to this convention two times, three times, four times. The first year that I went I was by myself. I remember just wandering around the convention. Of course my YouTube videos weren't uh, on the radar. I had my television show but I, my YouTube videos were not quite on the radar yet. I did a, a Facebook post and I said I can't wait to meet all of you. If you recognize me tap me on the shoulder and uh, I'll give you a free video. In two days, I gave away a hundred videos. Oh, I mean, wow. yeah, it's just like it was like I, had, I spent most of my time going back to the car, getting more videos for my for my thing. But it was just it was over the top. And the things what's happened is that so many people have gone for so many years that there's camaraderie amongst these people, and you see them over and over and over again. Some of the people that I I see that come up and hug me are people that I kind of met the first year and then the second year you kind of form a little bit more of a friendship or, or just a friendship or connection. The third year you kind of like maybe let's meet for dinner and go paint together. It's just great and what was really awesome this time is that the, the venues were really tight and intimate so everybody was painting in one spot and I didn't get any photos of, of that but I mean if, if you can imagine out of 1,200 painters, I would say there were probably 800 of them that were out painting at any given time in these spots. So how did they, the, the people that came painted pictures? Yeah, so, so about 40 or 50 guest faculty. Um, out of those, there's only so much room that they have for, for demonstrations. They have five or six or seven different rooms that demonstrations are going on all the time. Even in the convention hall where they sell art supplies, uh, packed with, with, art, uh, with art supplies and demonstrations. So it's kind of this incredible, you couldn't, you couldn't go anywhere without something happening from six in the morning all the way up to nine o'clock at night. This was in the convention center? Well, this was in the casino in Santa Fe. And wherever they moved these venues, 
you know, th that th they're all different. And so sometimes I feel they work good. And what's really beautiful about Santa Fe is that, you know, where the casino is, you just could go out in the parking lot and you could go paint. That way, it was, and Tucson was amazing. Because Tucson was like, oh my God, I don't even want to go in, I just want to paint. This time though, I didn't do any demonstrations because Eric's been trying to stagger, but I'm hoping that next year I do a demonstration. What was really great about this too for me is that I have lots of coaching students now. Amazing how many coaching students I have. This is crazy. And a lot of them came this year to the convention. A lot of them came because they wanted to see me in person. And it was really great for me to see, and there were probably about 16 of my coaching students that actually came to the convention. The convention was so big that I didn't get to see all of them that were there. In fact, afterwards it was like, hey, where were you? And they said, well, we saw you, but you were busy, you know, about all that. So next year, I'm really going to have to try to get all the people that I coach and my students, if any of you go, to have a mini con convention inside that convention. And we would go out and do something together as a group because it's just, it's just that kind of place. I mean, it's almost encouraged to have that. But to go there and have that many people that do the same thing, um, that are still interested, and then all of the top people in the land there with you. And so one of the biggest thrills in my life was, you know, the, one of the artists I really admire is David LaFell, who's a port, who's a... He was there? He was there. Um, and he was honored a Lifetime Achievement Award. But, and then his wife was there too, and she's a fabulous painter too. And, you know, that's just the kind of place that it is. It's like all of a sudden, here you, you come to this, this Mecca, you're surrounded by all of these wonderful people that are, have all this in common. And you know, I was talking to a gal who was signing up for, for um, coaching this morning. And I said, you know, when you have the, the connection of somebody that is doing the same thing you are, it's a different connection. And I got kind of from her where she was saying, oh, I kind of bother my, my kids and my, my husband with it. But she, she says that they really don't understand this. And some of you probably feel that too. It's like, it's, it's, when you get involved with art, it's like a life-changing thing. You it's get it in your blood. You can't quite shake it off. And so when you get into a room full of these crazy people, and then you have your gurus around you like David LaFell, which is like, there, I actually got to shake his hand. He, I don't think he knew who I was, but I know who he was. I don't know, maybe 80? And he's just, you know, these people are just like, just people. just people, yeah. And they just try hard, they're very humble, and they don't have an entourage or anything like that involved with the whole paint outs. And we go out to these painting and things, and you have 800 people in one spot. Like you said, you saw that on, online? I really was impressed with that they grouped the artists together, so they're all painting. Uh, because the other convention, they were spread out all over the yeah, I think what they're trying to do is really try to keep, because you can go kind of really broad, and I think what they're trying to do is get, get the group to kind of sit together. And this year what was really awesome that I found as one of the coaches is because I pretty much put my brush down, I'm dedicated to helping students. If I'm going to go paint, I'll do it before and after everybody else, but while they're doing their thing, I'm around helping people. And this year I saw a lot more of the faculty helping people outdoors and for a lot of people that's really special because all of a sudden you have uh, some of the top artists tapping you on the shoulder saying hey would you like some help so here put a little bit more yellow and how many times would you have wanted that to be there and obviously you turn around and it's you know this artist that you admire from the magazine it's like he's pointing at my finger and a lot of times it's like no 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 I'm not worthy but yeah you are you're here um, so anyway this is the bag that we got and then the way that you identify the teachers is that they all walk around with these hats. And every year that we go, we have a hat. This is a beautiful blue hat. Um, so, so all the teachers have hats, so when you go around, you can tell these people. And they give, them, they give people cards that say, I need help. And so we go around looking. We also wander around with a big flag so that people can kind of see us. So you can, can run over and tap somebody on the shoulder. So you're not out there painting by yourself. A lot of the people who go to the convention have never painted outdoors before, ever. In fact, there are a lot of people who just want to know what it's like to try it. 
And it's really great because not only while you're there, you get to be, you, you, when you sign up, you get this beautiful satchel with a beautiful thing on it. Um, but uh, you get to meet like uh, Rosemary Brushes. Um, she made this up for me this year. Stefan Bauman's proud to use Rosemary Brushes. If you, if, if you can imagine going into an area where it's about this big and it is wall-to-wall -wall brushes. Thousands of them. I mean, thousands. I mean, just in one size is a bucket like this big. And there's just buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets. And then you get to see all the different varieties that she has. And this year before we went, I got a, a note from her and she said, I will trade all of the brushes that I'm bringing to the planar convention if you would trade me your horse. Galloping up on big boy. <laughs> She's English, but no, but she watches my YouTube videos. She's like, every time I put a video up on my horse, she's always the first one to chime in, going, I love your horses. And she's English. She's there with her daughter. It's delightful. I mean, you get to meet Rosemary. You know, like you go see Masterpiece Canvas, you get to see John. And you could go up to Rosemary and go, You know, your brushes are this, and you're talking to the owner of the company. She's the one who goes, into the dark of the closets and hand does all of the, she doesn't. <laughs> but, but the thing is, it might as well be because she loves that. That's why people love Rosemary Brushes so much because she hand selects and really has quality control. But there are thousands and thousands and thousands of them. And I, and I was kind of joking with her because the, the, the next year's location for the plein air convention is always kept secret amongst just a very select few people. Because you know what they say about secrets? Two people, two people can keep a secret if one's dead. Okay. So what was interesting is, I'm, I'm, you know, there are times when the, the area is completely empty. And that's when I kind of go in because they're out painting or they're in, the, in lecture halls. And like I said, they have a, a pastel uh, section and they have a watercolor section and they have an oil section. Um, and so if you're into pastels, you could spend the whole day just watching people who do pastels. And these are not just people. These are like top people. People doing watercolors. If you're into watercolors, you could spend the whole time just doing one. This is not just an oil event. And then there's the oil artist. We're superior. But um, we kind of rule and reign over the whole thing. So anyway, so everybody's away. So I get a chance to go up to Rosemary. who. I just adore, she's so sweet. And I go and we're talking about it and I said, really, you like my horse? She says, oh yes, I want to ride your horse. I, go, I said, I tell you what. And one of, the, one of the people from Eric, you know, one of the in, in crowd, was standing real close to us. And I said, when we have the convention next year in San Francisco, uh -oh, I'll, I'll bring him. And all of a sudden, he turned and looked. I was just guessing. <laughs> but I just said, if, if we have our convention in San Francisco, I'll bring him. And then, you know, and then everybody could go out and paint him. Can you imagine unloading him down at the wharf, <laughs> down in the lawn, and then have all the artists kind of come around and paint him? And so she kind of laughed, and I said, no kidding. He looked at me like, how did you know it was going to be in San Francisco? And he, you know, he gave me this look, and I, I said, are we going to be in San Francisco? <laughs> And, and he walked away going, could be. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, I'm just so tuned into this thing that I just knew it was going to be San Francisco. So San Francisco is where the next one's going to be at. Um, so anyway, I would highly advise uh, some of you be, to, to start thinking about going because it really is an incredible event. Um, I love this year's event. I love that it was huge, over the top. I want to have more people there. That's kind of my, my, my thing, selfishly, because when you get lots of people, it's like my workshops. If I can get lots of people in my workshops, they're better workshops than they are if there's just four or five. And some people go, oh, I don't want to have that many people. It's like, I want to. no, because it's the sharing of ideas. It's, it's the other way that people do stuff. Um, and, and to be stimulated that way, because, you know, let's face it, painting is a very solitude cloistered thing. You either are sitting in a, in a um, studio with everything drawn and you're focused and, and getting high on turpentine, you know, 
or you're hanging out on the outside of a cliff somewhere in the wind wondering who the hell does this? <laughs> it's, it's insane. You know, you kind of feel like you're all by yourself, especially up here painting. Canvas goes airbound. Yeah, you're like going, why am I doing this, you know? But then when you also see the whole, the whole thing come together, it's really extraordinary. So next year, just kind of consider that. Because I know that I've got so many of my coaching students that will be there. And I just, I've, I've got to like find a way, because I thought this way I would like meet them, but I had no idea how, how when you have that many people, how people can get lost. So next year I'm going to have to really make it pur purposeful like that we'd get together. Thing, yeah, it's always like the middle of April, mm -hmm. so you can kind of plan for that. And it's in San Francisco, so it's really convenient you can actually just fly into San Francisco. You guys could drive. If you'd like to take your painting to the next level, please feel free to contact me personally at 415-606-9074.